Forbes Shannon. I'm an Arizona State student and I'm the CEO of the Tempe News Network. Now, you may recognize me from the Emmy Award winning TV show Tempe Late Night, or more specifically, the Emmy I won for my performance in the TLN sketch Elevator. <coughs> That's an Emmy. <laughs> um, so today I'm here with the Tempe News Network. Uh, we had a fantastic first season of Tempe Late Night. So much so that after winning the Emmys and becoming a sex symbol on the Tempe campus, we got our own student network, the Tempe News Network, which is built around the same principles we built Tempe Late Night around to showcase student perspectives at Arizona State. Like I said, we had a great first season, although we did lose one cast member early on, Lauren Coles, because she had to focus on classes. However, we did get a great replacement for Lauren Coles, Colton Lovett. Woo! Yeah! Woo! Woo! yeah! We also got a new director halfway through this season, Raina. Of course. Keep it going. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, right. Um, there is no hazing in Tempe Lake. Um, actually, recently we just held auditions for, temp or for Arizona State students to audition to be pledges with Tempe Late Night. As a pledge, they help write some of our content, and they do some of the behind the scenes things that make the show. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you're here for Tempe Late Night, you're actually one week too early. This week, we have exclusive Tempe News Network stuff. TNN. It's like CNN, but TNN. You see what we did there? <laughs> yeah. Uh, of course, Tempe Late Night will still be our flagship program, like Sports Center is to ESPN or Racism is to Fox. <laughs> tonight, tonight at 8:15, we have Chef Cali, an Arizona State culinary student that's actually from New Jersey. He comes on and he shows college students some tasty college recipes. Then, at 8.30, we have the late night news headlined by Walter Cronkite Jr., the grandson of Walter Cronkite. For those of you who don't know who Walter Cronkite is, he has the School of Journalism at Arizona State. It's okay if you don't know that. It's on the downtown Phoenix campus and no one goes to the downtown. <laughs> Walter Cronkite Jr. brings college students the top news stories that they need. Then, at 8.45, we will have TLN auditions, where people can, on stage, live for TLN Idol, audition to be a pledge with Tempe Late Night. There is no hazing in Tempe Late Night. <laughs> As we go forward with the program, we want you to enjoy yourselves, and then remember that next week, of course, Tempe Late Night will be back. And one last note, there is no hazing in Tempe Late Night. <laughs> and without further ado, your Monday night on the Tempe News Network! very own lemonade stand, all right? But what's a lemonade stand without a little baked goods? Guess what, people? I stole a generator from Home Depot, and I hooked it up to an Easy Bake Oven that I refurbished from a dump. So now I just said to you, we eat brownies, baby. Woo! It's going to be great, great stuff. People flock for my wheat brownies here. It's good stuff, it's good stuff. People flock, they love it. It's my top sell. Oh, we got Chip, Chip back, Chip, hey, how you doing? Chip, how many do you want today? Oh, all of them. <laughs> you, you want all of them? I want all of them. Yeah, no problem. Uh, everything all right at home? Everything's great, I just got a divorce, my life's in shambles. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, I'll tell you what, I'll give you a little discount, 150 for you. Okay, I think I have a, I think I can do that. I think I have a couple quarters here. Quarter. Yep. Chip, yep. go to the bank. I'm not talking about 150. 150. Not oh my goodness. I'm going to get a little fucking Bye, Chef. <laughs> all right, well, now that he's sold out all my brownies, we're going to have to make some more. So it's a very complicated process to make brownies. So, 
You're going to want to just follow the instructions right here. <laughs> just get zoom. Good. Okay, cool. You're going to follow that, and this is what it's going to look like now. Now, the weed time. <laughs> We're going to sprinkle in just a little bit of weed. You don't want to waste it all, you know what I mean? Just a little bit of weed. Just a little bit. Perfect. Now we're going to put this in for 420 degrees for 4 hours and 20 minutes. <laughs> just let that cook a little bit and we're good to go. Alright, now that we got that out of the way, let's talk a little bit about the lemonade. Alright, because you know what? It's not only potheads that come to my stands. Families from all over the place flock for my secret family recipe. Right? It's good stuff. You know what I mean? Good stuff. Oh! Hey! Hey, hey. how you doing? We are back. How are you? <laughs> We're doing all right. We'll take, we'll, take a, we'll take a small lemonade. Yeah, no problem. All right, yeah, so you want to just go ahead and fill it up. You know, we got, we got big glasses over here. You give them the shot glass, though, so you don't have to give them that much. These idiots will buy anything. We are right here. <laughs> Daddy, I want more! No, still ten dollars? Yes, it is, sir. Okay. Fourteen cups of lemonade, albeit small, is too much for you. <laughs> but, Daddy! Sweetie, <laughs> Stop being a little bitch! <laughs> Thanks a lot. <laughs> Alrighty, folks, I'm almost out of here. Before I go, I'm going to let you know the little secret that I got in this lemonade, alright? Now, it's just one little secret ingredient. Pull it out for you, ready? It's nicotine gum, people! When you take the nicotine gum, you just bash it up a little bit, boosh, just drop it right in there, get people coming back that nicotine flavor. People fucking love it. Yeah, just shake it right up. Leave the wrapper on. Leave it on. They don't notice. Go, hey, how hey, you yeah, man? Are you back? Yeah, I, just, just one more, man. Just one more? Right. Yeah, 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 no yeah, problem, yeah. dude. Alright, uh. Here's one for you, there you go. All right, so that, just like that, hopefully you see how you can run your own lemonade stand, you can do it all by yourself. So yeah, good. Sure. It is good, right? It's good stuff. All right, thanks for joining us. Hopefully you see us next time. Uh, I think that wraps it all up here. How'd you enjoy the lemonade? It's fucking good. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna clean up and get out of here. This guy's creepy. <laughs> Give me the rest of the lemonade! <laughs> Give me the pitcher! Give it to me! Come on! Let me see the hands! Right, right, right. Listen, man, uh, you could either rob me like right now, or you could you could wait till the brownies are done. You wanna rob me of those two? Just wait a little. Hey, hey, uh, the chef, the guy. Back up! Get alone! Back up! Oh, no. oh. Hey, you want those brownies? Yeah, thank you. Thank you, chef. Hey, no problem. Take care, bro. All right, guys, that's it for me. Thanks for joining. <laughs> start our show is a little improv. Uh, our favorite game, it's called Sex is Like. So we're going to need your help. Um, we are going to get suggestions from the audience, just crazy, silly, weird things that you guys yell out, and we're going to relate it to sex. Um, so what I, what I need from you guys is, can I just get uh, random mouths? Can you random mouths? What are, we have stormtroopers. Stormtrooper. Okay, we'll do a couple. Guys, sex is like a stormtrooper. <laughs> Sex is like a stormtrooper. I, I can't hit anything. Uh, yeah. Okay. Sex is like an old Star Wars stormtrooper, only white. <laughs>
Sex is like a doggy toy. I like it rough. <laughs> <laughs> Sex is like a doggy toy, so it's good with a dog. <laughs> We'll get two more suggestions. Two more suggestions. McDonald's. What, what, what Walmart. Walmart. Okay, sex is like Walmart. Mm -hmm. Sex is like Walmart. Always a bad decision. <laughs> <laughs> sex is sex with me. It's like being at Walmart. You're probably on welfare. That's how we met. <laughs> sex is like Walmart. It's overpriced on campus. <laughs> Uh, sex is like refrigerator. Refrigerate. Sex is like refrigerator. <laughs> oh man. Um, uh, sex is like a refrigerator. When it falls on me, I can't get up. <laughs> <laughs> sex is like a refrigerator. I'm just trying to shut it. Get my fingers stuck in there. <laughs> Sex is like a refrigerator, because I'm cool. <laughs> <laughs> Sex is like a refrigerator, uh, mine always makes weird noises. <laughs> Sex is like a refrigerator, it's where I keep a ham. Sex is like a refrigerator. Once something gets stuck under there, you're, you're never seeing it again. Because <laughs> <laughs> she's fat. <laughs> uh, sex is like a refrigerator. Once a month, it smells really bad. <laughs> Like, to join the Tempe Late Night Network. Now, let's meet our judges. Our first you judge, to, we have Walter Cronkite Jr. Give him a hand. Good evening, Tempe. Lovely. <laughs> Personable, perfect. Uh, our next judge, we have Uncle Jake. Give him a hand. We got three, one didn't show up. All right, well, let's get the show on I the think road. we're good to go. We're all good to go, Jake. Oh, Uncle Jake, you good? No, it's just not me. It's so. <laughs> He's good to go. Let's meet our first contestant. Okay, our first contestant is also named Jake. I'm up. No, I'm up. Not you. <laughs> now, Jake, are you excited to get in there? for us today? Uh. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Oh, okay. All right. All right. We're good. You can. Uh, you're done. You're done. Okay. You're done. Okay. Uh, where's the loo? I'm about to spill some tea on my travels. I think you know what I mean. Um, 
Crumpets and crumpets wrapped in aluminium. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck is going on? <laughs> is, is this a character? Oi, mate, don't be a sodden tosser. I want to ask you if I can go to the loo so I can have a cheeky week from my Don Johnson and Bob's your uncle. <laughs> okay, next! Piss off! <laughs> you silly. <laughs> okay, our next contestant is Kyle. Kyle, you excited? I'm just happy to be here. <laughs> Get in there, buddy. All right, Kyle, what will you be performing for us today? Perform? I, I'm more of a writer. Yeah. Right. I, I got a guitar, though. Oh, nice. All right. What, uh, what kind of songs can you play? I, I, don't, I don't play. I, I just brought it like, in case you need it or something like you can use it. <laughs> Freebird! Hilly <laughs> Freebird! <laughs> okay. Uh, thank you. <laughs> okay! All right! Well, that's our contestants. Guys, judges, what do we think? Well, Jake was weird. Uh, Sam was even fucking weirder. <laughs> Kyle on guitar. So it uh, looks like Kyle? Kyle it is. Kyle it is. Yeah. We got the guitar. Kyle, are we all late? Is it too late? Uh, um, yes, very, very late. Yeah. Oh, shoot. I missed the library and labels and feeling well. She's perfect. She's perfect. Oh, my God. Yes. That's tempting late night material. <laughs> oh. She's on the cast! I think she's on the cast. Welcome to the team. Yeah! <laughs> Good evening, Tempe. I'm Walter Cronkite Jr. Here are the week's top stories. A SWAT standoff occurred outside of a trailer park after a man killed a woman's turtle. To be fair, Michelangelo was the lamest of the Ninja Turtles, and nunchucks, really? <laughs> An online art website is selling a rusty trash can for $100. Hard times have really fallen on Oscar the Grouch. <laughs> a Florida man died after a 911 operator missed the call because she was ordering a pizza. Florida responded with, your call is very important to us. We thank you for your patience. <laughs> <laughs> a company is making a robotic cat for seniors that can't have cats in their nursing homes. Because if there's one thing seniors are really good with, it's advanced technology. <laughs> An autographed Obama speech was found in the trash at Louisiana. Republicans around the country rejoice at the small victory. <laughs> in Germany, they are transforming a concentration camp into a resort. New amenities include new showers, a complimentary train ride, and they assure you it's definitely not haunted. <laughs> Vladimir Putin's internet advisor has a torrent website. More surprising, Russia has the internet. <laughs> Here to comment on the first season of Tempe Late Night is our senior member of Tempe Late Night, Uncle Jake. Yeah! Hey, hey. How you doing, Forbes? Yeah, Forbes. God, what's it been since it's a Christmas pie, right? God, remember that broad? Remember that broad I banged? What was her name again? Karen. Fuck, Karen. From the state press. Karen. That wrote a scathing article calling us pigs. Oh, God, she was foxy. That's what happens when you mix a little bit of absinthe with red wine. <laughs> like, right there, boys. Fuck. All right. <laughs> okay, time. Well, Uncle Jake, how was, how was your Christmas break? You know, same old, same old. I uh, did uh, the, the usual rituals. Uh, went, drove my minivan to uh, my ex-wife's house, killed a fifth of Everclear, and just sat in the lawn and watched her uh, with her new family, you know? <laughs> well, divorce can be hard, Uncle Jake. And then I keyed a guy and I peed in the ventilation system, so, you know, yeah. it'll be pretty good. Okay, well, do you have anything sentimental from season one that you can reflect on and provide to our audience here? Uncle Jake, 
Yeah, I mean, we did a lot of great things. We got a cast of people together, we made a TV show, and uh, we forged memories that'll last a lifetime, and you know, that's more impactful than any of us really guessed. Wow, that was actually really And sweet. we used it to bang so many babes, do you remember? <laughs> God, do you remember that cast party, that girl like that? What was her name? Hey, oh my, my God. sister. Sister, God. How is she doing? She's, oh God, tell her I don't have hep C. <laughs> Uncle Jake, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> A recent report shows that 10% of college graduates think Judge Judy is on the Supreme Court. <laughs> She's not? I totally, <laughs> I totally thought, well, I'm not a graduate yet. So. <laughs> a woman got arrested for murder after posting a Facebook confession. She probably could have got away with it if Facebook didn't auto-tag the dead body. <laughs> Scholastic pulled a George Washington children's book after showing pictures in the book of the slave smiling. The dude didn't smile for his dollar bill picture. What makes you think his slaves would be smiling? You didn't know George Washington wasn't smiling on the dollar bill, did you? He probably would have been if he would have known his face was getting stuffed into strippers' vaginas. <laughs> It's important to note, Ben Franklin is smiling on the hundred. <laughs> Minecraft porn is quickly becoming one of the most popular porn searches. I tried to look it up, but it said the Minecraft porn was blocked. <laughs> A Tennessee teacher was arrested with having three children in her trunk. That gives us a new problem. If a Tennessee teacher has three kids in her trunk driving at 45 miles an hour, how many years in prison does she get? <laughs> a ton of pot was found underneath some fake carrots at the border. That explains why Bugs Bunny was so down with Elmer Fudd trying to kill him. What's up, Doc? You are, Bugs. You're high. <laughs> I'm Walter Cronkite Jr. Good night, Tempe.